six uh, matters from the mayor and council and the first item and probably the only item is to go ahead and uh, have our mayor appoint uh, have the oath of office administered so I'd like to call the Honorable Judge Chavez to come forward okay Mr. Cordova you sure you want the job <laughs> good luck okay okay here we go I, Darren Cordova. I, Darren Cordova. Having been appointed to the office of mayor. Having been appointed to the office of mayor. Of the town of Taos. Of the town of Taos. State of New Mexico. State of New Mexico. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will uphold the Constitution of the United States. That I will uphold the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the state of New Mexico. The Constitution and laws of the state of New Mexico. The laws of the town of Taos. The laws of the town of Taos. And will faithfully and impartially discharge and will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of said office the duties of said office to the best of my ability to the best of my ability so help me God so help me God I don't want to, I didn't prepare a speech because I believe that then you're not speaking from the heart, so I'm just going to wing it and talk what I feel in the heart. I have a passion for this community. It's a commitment, commitment that's unparalleled. I, uh, I was born and raised here, and I see the, uh, the times that we have ahead of us, they're going to be rough times, but I'm uh, fully confident with the council that we have in place that we can tackle the issues uh, that, that are ahead of us. I take over as mayor uh, during a time where we're facing a lot of economic challenges, you know, both globally, nationally, and uh, it has affected our, our local economy. That is going to be a priority of mine to ensure that we have economic stability in our community. I believe that when we have economic stability and economic development in our community, that we can move, everything else falls in place at that point. Uh, we have then the funding to provide the infrastructure needed. And I want to diversify our economic base. As a longtime business owner, I know the struggles that we face uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's pretty much the energy that I want to take into town hall in diversifying our town so that we don't have to depend solely on tourism. While, while tourism and our ski season is, is a major part, and we must support that, and our arts is a major part, we must diversify our economic base so that we can uh, be much more prosperous throughout the year. One of the ways that the ideas that I have, and I've talked to our, the director of UNM Taos, is how we can help in making Taos an educational destination. Another thing that, uh, you know, it is an honor that I'm working with this council. This council uh, is aggressive, they're progressive. For the first time in history, some of the things that we've done, for the first time in history, you look at the gas prices, the national uh, average and the statewide average, I'm happy to say, that now Taos, and the first time in history that I can remember, is now be, below. You don't have to go to Albuquerque to fill up your car. And one of the hardest dis decisions that I had to make today is choosing a new council member. You know, I, I don't believe in wasting time, and we need to get, get things done. So today I made my uh, selection, and it will be uh, presented to the council on Monday. And that individual, I'd like to announce his name right now, will be Michael Silva. And Uh, I've always told the staff, in, in closing, we will never forget who we work for. We were elected by the constituents, uh, the staff, and all the elected officials share one thing in common, and that is that we have one boss, and that is the constituents, and we pledge to be accountable to you. My, what will be a priority under my administration is professionalism, customer service, integrity, and accountability. So with that, thank you, God bless you, and we'll see everyone at Shadow. Thank you.